Hello, welcome to TechGemit. In this session, we will discuss about the process through which we can manage our project in a more effective way. So uh, for the same, I'm going to utilize one application that is OneNote. So here one question arises like why should we use OneNote application instead of any other application? So there are a couple of reasons that insist me to utilize this application. The first one is the data security. So as this application keeps my data into my drive, so that is the biggest reason of using this application because it keeps my data in a more secure way. The second reason is it this application provides me a uh, this application keeps my data in a more categorized form. So that's why I prefer this application uh, instead of any other application. So now we will see like how we can use this application to uh, store our data in a more categorized way. So here we can see that the, uh, there are three tabs and the each of each one of this tab represent one entire book. So here we can keep the information of uh, three projects for now because I have created the three books uh, that will keep uh, the data of three projects. So we will see uh, one by one. So the first book is for the project one. So here in this book, we can create and add uh, multiple pages to keep the information of that particular project that is project one. So here I have created the first page that will that is project description. So this page is mainly uh, I use this page to keep the information of all uh, project related information like project description, project uh, team name, uh, project team details and other information. So whatever the project related information you wanted to keep uh, uh, in your application. So you can uh, put all those information in the project description page. The second page is uh, for machine credentials. So we can use this uh, page to keep all the machine credentials like uh, machine ID, password, server name, port name. So we can keep uh, these information in a tabular form. So uh, like here, uh, the first table is for keep uh, is used to store the production machine related credential. Then second table is used to keep the testing machine related credential and third one is for QA machine related information. So that's how I keep my uh, credential in a one note. And this page is mainly used to uh, keep those information. Now the third uh, page is for project task information. So here, what usually I do, I put uh, these uh, some basic information of uh, for the task. Uh, that is uh, the date on which I have received that particular task. Then the project task title. So here and this is for login module. So that's uh, this is the simple data. We can keep uh, all the information related to our project only. And the third is for uh, here I put uh, the person name that assigned me that particular task. And here I will uh, uh, keep my deadline of uh, that particular task. So it will remind me about the deadline. And below to that, I have created one table that will keep uh, information of all the objects that I'm going to use for that particular of task. And below to that, I use uh, some notes of for uh, my task, whatever is related to my task and some modic modification re uh, required. So if there are a couple of modi modification required for a particular task, so I will keep it as a bullet point in my notes. And Usually I break down my entire project into these uh, uh, phases like analysis, development, testing, modification, retesting and final deployment. So we can keep uh, these uh, with some statuses like here. I, if I am done with my analysis, so I will keep it as a done. And if I'm uh, in the process of development, then I will keep my status as in process. And if uh, the uh, testing modification, the rest all other phases are pending. So I will keep my status as a pending for these things. So this uh, way helps me to uh, keep uh, in mind like, um, OK, so my project is in this phase. So it will remind me the current status of my project. So that's how I usually break down all my tasks into uh, subtask uh, with the help of uh, my OneNote page. So this is the project task information page. The third 
and uh, the fourth page is for uh, projecting information and so here we can uh, what we can uh, do like we can keep the information of all the team members uh, that is uh, that belongs to that particular project or project particular task so uh, for example here we can store the information of project manager and uh, project team lead projects shadow resource so we we can keep the contact details and uh, some uh, alternative number of that team members so in case of any emergency we can directly uh, use uh, we can directly use this information to contact with that particular person so we can uh, create uh, like this kind of page for keeping the information of uh, our team members and my next page is for keeping the project uh, related knowledge base like uh, where i have uh, the location of my source source location my dev my developer library name testing library name all the call recordings so if if i have recorded some calls so i will put uh, the path of that particular call recorder recording folder here then the reference document so that's how I uh, keep all the uh, project related uh, source related information here and the last page is for uh, client call notes so if you are uh, you are having any client call or any team member call so we can keep uh, uh, some notes of that particular call into our uh, this page in the one note so it will help us to rem, uh, remind all the those information that we have discussed in, in our call so that's how we can utilize this application to keep all the uh, project related information and uh, if you are working on a more than one or uh, more than two or three projects so you can create a separate tab for each of uh, that particular project and if you're working on only one project then it, that is fine you can create one book and with some uh, other pages if you want to add a few more pages then directly you can click on this add page and you can give a title to this uh, page and you can start keeping the information here and one uh, but uh, like one more advantage of using this application is uh, we can protect our particular book or particular page by password so if you want to apply a password for this particular page so you can click right click here and from here you can protect this uh, section so now if i uh, set my password so it will so here it is asking me for my, the password so for now i am putting some password here then we have to reconfirm our password so here it is showing one notification like if you lose uh, or forget the password one note cannot recover your data so be careful while uh, putting the password so it will not uh, provide um, alternative way to reach out to this uh, data so that's why we have to be uh, very careful while setting our password so once uh, you are uh, done with the password reset now this uh, section is we can uh, select this option keep existing back backups so now this section is password protected so if i close this application and uh, re reopen this application again so for this uh, particular section it will ask me for the password so this is the best advantage of using the OneNote. we can keep our data in our drive we can keep the data in a more uh, categorized way with some uh, a password uh, with some password uh, facility like we can protect our particular section uh, section with some passwords so that's how i am using the OneNote application to keep the information so uh, that's the only thing i wanted to share you in this session so thank you for watching tech